evening and welcome to Let's Talk Geek episode 81. Coming to you live here from Centurion. Tonight with me, we've got a little bit of change of scenery. Our uh, standard mixer had some private, uh, previous engagements for tonight. Private so uh, we, we placed Tim behind the mixing desk. Hello, Good Tim. Evening. And we've got a guest, uh, Quentin. Hi there. But uh, let's get into the show itself. And tonight, we're going to kick it off with some Valentines. Um, found this link in the G- 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 uh, Google Plus uh, links. Uh, Paste the following equation into Google search, and it ends up to be a little heart with a circle around it. <laughs> it works quite well. It's still a pity that why, these why things... Why the circle? I don't know why the circle. Crosshair, I don't know. Which part of that equation gives you the circle? Well, why don't, don't know. Don't know. But the, the equation will be in the show notes. It would be one of the causes pieces there that, that does it. I just wanted to ask, why is this uh, graphic search is still not working on the mobiles? Graphic searches, are you talking about... If you put this equation into your mobile search on, on an Android device, it still doesn't come back with um, the, gra- what, the, the mathematical returns. Um, I would imagine that they're trying to... It's still seeing it as a mobile device, and some of them you know, don't display the images or have the screen sizes to do it. I would imagine something still like that. They just haven't optimized it yet. So I mean, you were just telling us today that you finally saw that you can watch editing in, um, when you're editing documents. On your mobile device. Hey, well, it happened just now. This Google Google Docs update on the on the Android tablet is quite amazing. It looks a lot better, but you still don't want to edit in it. Still use Evernote. But moving along, um, Google's ScreenWise panel will pay you to track your every move online. Haven't they been doing this in any case? Well, that's a bit of that. Though what they're doing now is they're saying if if you allow us to track all the data, so there's a JavaScript pr- plugin that you actually put into your browser. Mm-hmm. Currently, now they can track what you're doing and the URLs you're going to, but they're not going to be tracking mouse movements, clicks, like w- exactly which you know down to that level. Okay. Um, so this is a plugin you can uh, opt into this. In which case, I think you get five dollar Amazon gift voucher in opting in. You've got to install a plugin to your Chrome browser, and then they monitor as your mouse moves, where it goes to, how you click on things, how you browse. Um, Then if you're willing to go slightly more invasive, there's a screen-wise panel that you can actually put on your network. I see this is a Cisco device. So they're actually going to track all your… Yeah, then it tracks everything you do. Everything you do. Yeah. Well, uh, do they actually say what they want to do with the information, or is it just purely well, lot, for research? It's, it's research. And they say they do run researching, and it's just one part of the research that they run. Um, and basically, it's quite useful, especially you, you, you see how people interact with websites, the websites that, that are actually important to them that they actually go to. So let's say they do a search and they click on the third link. Is that the, the right link? But that that's, that's my question. That's my question. I mean, currently, in, if you're using Chrome and you logged into your session, and you do do a search, they know what they gave me. And if I click on the third link out of it, they know. So, yeah, so but what, no, so what they want to see how I, how I twiddle my mouse around in the browser before I make a decision. Yes, that, yes, and yes that's very useful. Yeah. It, it actually shows you how long are you spending on that page. But they know that. No, but they no, also, no, they they also know. They away now. So now they're actually seeing, are you still moving your mouse? Okay. Also, yeah. they, they can see how you're interacting with the website. Let's say there's a part of the website that you're never going to, that, but that to them is quite important. Yeah, but that they get out of, the, out of the standard analytics information gives you all of that. Not, not the mouse movements and hovering. and it, it actually can be quite useful in site design of where the users. It's also there's things where they've also got now things where they also track how your eyes track through websites. So okay, that, that, that is a different thing. I mean, that's and, and external. And the, hmm. Yeah, no. That will be external input. But I mean. Yeah, but now imagine you're not using Google. You, you get the search results. You go to a blog. You click a link in that blog. And I'm not sure they can track you all the way down. Unless well, they have all the, all the links that you're going through have okay. analytics. Okay, good point. Yeah. Okay, so, yes. Yeah. On that. No, they do. No, sorry. Because I'm logged into Chrome. Yeah, but now what I'm if you're not? Is this a Chrome only plugin? Yes. Yeah. Th- is it's it, it's going to be a plug-in in Chrome. Chrome. Yeah, but I don't think Chrome, uh, the usage allows you to be tracked so uh, accurately with Chrome. I mean, that wouldn't it just you, be You're not like logged into Chrome. Google, you're logged into Google. Chrome. So if you're not on a Google page. No, but I mean, your history, if you're logged into Chrome, yeah. Yeah, your history on this browser is transferred to your other browser. But, but uh, only if you've chosen, no, not your history. Oh, yes. 
Oh, so they're doing issues now. Yes, but also, well. only if you've chosen to allow that to them. It's a full synchronize. But, your, um, okay, obviously not your offline, your cached mm. files. Yeah, but everything that, else. And is, uh, there is a bit more. There's certain things that they're not tracking. Yeah, but you now on. your page, you, you, you've got say five or six tabs open. Mm -hmm. Yes, your history has all your. But how do they know? Do they can they archivally build a tree of your browsing via your history? They can do it via time, but can they know which tab led to what page and and so on? Well, it's not a lot more information to just feed that into yeah. the history file. I'm sure there's yeah, some advantage. Look, there's a reason. Google's there's a good reason. Google's changing the whole privacy policy, and they're trying to go. If we're tracking you, we want to let you know. Okay, right? and that's, that's maybe... So yes, they might be tracking your history, but I bet you now that they're now, not looking at it. The, what they are looking at is when you're getting search suggestions that get sent through to the mm. algorithm stuff. But the history and all that stuff, you do know it's encrypted before it goes to their, their servers and stuff like yes. that. Yes, so only when you tick it. Yeah, but by default, they recommend that you do it. I think it is on by default. Uh, and this just allows you, and I think it's, it's a, a part of the whole privacy movement to say, okay, we want to track your stats, but... We will tell you, yeah. and you opt into okay. it, and then we're going to pay you for that. Well, that's a good move. That's a very good move on that yeah. base. But, I mean, mm. now hopefully they'll actually swing this around because I'm all for controlling what now because now you know where all my machines on my network is going if you've got the Cisco device. Mm. Now yeah. give me the tools to control that. My problem with that is how does that – sorry, to to, uh, we should move off this topic, but that, that device, most sites are now going SSH. So you can't see where I'm going with that device. Mm. Now, I, when no, I originally would it, thought this, I thought this on. was something that went on your screen and, and tracked Isn't all your... Isn't combination? Maybe you're still going to need the extension in Chrome, but at least this device will now pick up your other traffic. So your point-to-point -point traffic, your Warcraft, all the other gaming traffic, that sort of stuff. To a point, yeah. So maybe that's what the device is more, to actually analyze that traffic yeah. going, going through. Facebook. You can recognize like major sites, but you can't recognize... Yeah, with the transparent traffic, you can actually recognize where the person's clicked, you know, what part of the site they're going to and all that. And also with this Google search preview, you hover your mouse, but you don't click on the link, and then you hover over this little button on the side, and a search preview of the page you want to go to. So I don't know how much of that they can track. But I mean, it's still information being track. processed by Chrome. Mm -hmm. So they can, they can easily let the log file know, I have brought up this preview. Mm -hmm. And the only way to bring it up is yeah, either but, by clicking or hovering. To, to my knowledge, they, they do not... Anyway... Yeah, interesting, interesting sure. point. It's just getting to that point that yeah, Google is ruling our lives. I mean, I want to say so what, but hey, they make it so comfortable. They make it so easy. And now they I mean, pay like you Facebook. for it. It's it's so much easier. I showed somebody that's a Facebook fan. I showed them Picasso last night. Do they make it as easy as the banks make your life? You no, mean? more easy because banks don't make your life easy. Okay, keep on moving. Just, just, we'll get I, there now. I, I gave you the perfect yes, I lead. know. I know. And you lost okay. this. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't reading ahead. Thanks, Tim. Um, okay. Yes, uh, next topic. Uh, FNB changes the tune on 22.7. We did discuss this 22.7 project yeah. I think yeah. two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Quite extensive. So if you want to go and listen to that, uh, we had some really good feedback in, uh, from Jan Vermeulen on this. He's been on the beta for a couple of months now. Yeah. Okay, but now at that point when they started announcing that uh, more public trials and everybody could get in, obviously the bank started getting a bit upset about it. And I know at that point he highlighted that I think APSA was already blocking it. Yes. So now we've got the first South African bank saying that, well, we actually don't have a problem. No, they well, haven't. Well, you, you've got to show you a bit further what they actually said is in they're the one of the few banks that you can actually create a secondary user uh, login they can only have read access to your accounts. Yeah, a read on your accounts. Oh. And this is actually what it's about. In which case, and, and kudos for them for doing that, because I know quite a lot of things you might want to give, if you're a business or something, someone read access to see what's going on, but you don't want them to actually be able to spend money. Hmm. Um, and this is almost a perfect that's advertising a very, for them. That's a very interesting point, because how many times have you had to go to the bank and print out bank statements? Yeah. Because... These guys want your bank statements. Now, FMB gives you the tool to create a read-only access. Here you go. Go check my bank balance. Yeah, but how many Sorry, people who? can you give read-only access to? FMB. Sorry, I heard. <laughs> you thought, thought you, yeah. No, no, I did say FMB. Okay, cool. First National Bank. Yeah. I'm gonna no, try how this. can we help you? <laughs> um, now, I must say, they're doing well with this help me, help, how can we help you thing. Hey? They're mm. doing all these things. I mean, this, lately. Uh, there was a story earlier this week about FMB just breaking, breaking the lines and on online yeah, banking and for uh, sure kudos to them I'm Look, it's I, wonderful it's I, great I'm not with them but you know it's these just things like I'm so tied into my, my bank 
But if I had the first option, I would, uh, you know, I would actually be, I am, would be, would be looking at them. They're, they're doing a lot. I of still say things. they must head on, take on Standard Bank um, business banking, and they could actually. They, they, trust me. They must just head on, take on Standard Bank bank uh, business banking. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, uh, there's things Standard Bank business banking does very well, and then from there. You you mean that JavaScript Java client that application that thing is useless. Okay, I hate just look thing. at the business yeah. behind it, where you can have w- your finance department load payments, and you can have release process. So, so just mm. with all the clients we have, that app breaks regularly. Oh. Sort out your firewall. No, 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 no it's not. not. Yes, so, as in on the internet. If, even on again, you've got to go in and delete the jar files because they push an update that's yeah. broken it, and then you've got to delete the jar files so it will re-download them properly. To I must say, touch wood, because I have. Our company uses it. Uh, touch with uh, the last six months of updates. It, it's, they've it's, solved that. It's more okay. Before that, yeah, you had to go to them and go get the bloody CD. Yes, or they send it to you. Yes. And you download it and then they send you the wrong one or yes. something happens. Yeah, but no. At one stage, then they decided to do net deployment yeah. and from there it started. Has it started been better? Be, because yeah, yeah, that, kept us, that, that made us some good but money at some sta- at one cool. point. Anyway, Thank you, F&B. Um, 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 just to add a bit more why this is actually a better way of handling it for uh, 22.7. That's two, two, uh, numeral 2, numeral 2, S-E-V-E-N.com. Yes. Very important. Very important. Don't um, go and put your details into the wrong site. When you allow them this login to to that website, is once again it it follows the, the correct security models. Okay. They can now view the, the the list, and this was a lot of the banks saying, you know, you're now given this other third party application access to your banking details, mm-hmm. where they can actually spend money on your behalf. Um, mm. And kudos to F and B for being the first one to actually do something to allow people the read, so the guys can still pull the stats and everything in the correct security model that should be followed that you can't yeah. do any other, other banks because, well, to my knowledge, they do, they do not have... Have you started right. using 22.7? I've logged in. I haven't... Um, recently, life has been too busy, so they yes. have my details, but I haven't had time to sit down and catch And at the bank. Yeah, I must also do that. But they have all my accounts. Have you tried it? No, I was actually invited to the press release and due to some family circumstances, I didn't go. I was so f- upset that I never went. But, uh, yeah... One of those things. Well, we need to, before we get Jan on again, actually all give it a try. Mm-hmm. Luckily, I'm with F&B, so I can give it a try without being worried. Yeah. Oh, look, I must mm. say I'm not worried. But anyway. Um, Zing Mobile Instant Messenger. Move over BBM and X, uh, mix it. Zing is here. You know, I actually, uh, f- go look on my broadband. The story was very good. Go l- read the comments. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um First, I mean, one of the guys in the comment thread turns around and says, yeah, but I'm the only one here. Yes, it's a new platform. <laughs> yeah. What the hell did you expect? And then secondly, can, can somebody out there, I mean, you, Quentin, were the one that raised the hell about uh, WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, WhatsApp, and, uh, yeah. Won't, won't you guys, like, when these new platforms come out, do that as a basic te- check and see if these guys I'm are sure. falling out of the bank? I'm sure they should test it. You want me to have a look at this? Just have a look and see if, sure. if actually... Um, or oh, they're not starting on the wrong foot to the fact that they're starting on a, yeah. on a, on a platform that's open, like what WhatsApp did. But at the end of the day, so I, they're marketing. I, I say, okay, look, I've looked at this. Why do I need another chat? Thank you. Yeah, because but there are hundreds of them. WhatsApp has solved certain problems I have. Yes. Um, it's, it's not a chat one, so it sounds funny. I can't chat someone on a PC. It's only phone to phone. So it replaces SMS for me. Yes. So people who are using it will be using it from phone and use it the same way as SMS. So I use that. As this is important, I'm sending you a message now. Oh, um, sorry. So, and that's why. Look, WhatsApp is unencrypted, which... It, it's, it seems to be encrypted now. I actually tested it I last week. Changed There's yeah. a, there, was, there was like four updates in the last yeah. 10 days. Yeah, it seems to be encrypted. I it's now encrypted. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, there we go. But, but Here's that from, argument is gone. Yeah, but listen, read here from the from the Zing Mobile release on my broadband. Did you read it? Yeah. Question. Are the communications encrypted over Zing? If so, what type of could you use? At launch, we do not have encryption ah, built in. Done. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Moving along. Yes. <laughs> Look, and I had this argument with Garrett, um, one of our other guest, uh, guest presenters. The one thing that Gtalk on Android platform doesn't do is share. I can't, I can't go into the browser, find a nice website, go share, and pump mm. it into Gtalk. Yes, that is a major fail. 
especially they own the, the platform, they own the chat program, they've got Google Plus on Android. None well, of them can I do that. I must say the chat program could do a bit, bit more. Yeah. But then, but you you know, I've also seen the one that's on iPhone, and it also didn't overwhelm me very much. So WhatsApp, that's where it's winning. Yeah. I mean, you can sit and you go share into WhatsApp and send the link to somebody. Oh. At Twitter, I, I mean, when I do get to them, and there's some nice tweets from certain people. You want to mm. share that with somebody, you like literally click, share, WhatsApp, find the guy, click, and mm. off it goes. Here goes the tweet. Yeah, I want to I mean, make a shout really out for Kick Messenger, which I rather enjoy. When, when, Who? what? Kick Messenger. When WhatsApp stopped, when I found out about the lack of encryption, I used Kick. Okay. And it's Mark, Mark very Richard, nice. Does it work on iPhone, Android, yes. Nokia? Uh, b- I'm not sure about Nokia, but I know the, f- b- the big three Android, iPhone, and uh, BBM. B- BBM, yeah. Blackberry, yeah. okay. well, look, as I said, all my friends now have. I finally got a lot no, of onto WhatsApp. WhatsApp, and yeah. I think in, I'm in happy. Fact, I'm not gonna let not me confirm for you because there was an update for Kick coming out, and it's we'll available for that. Symbian now. Kick for Symbian cool. is also available. Well, then it's out. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that came out recently is the Boza, B- Boza thing, and this, this I actually I am going to keep an eye on because this looks very good. Boza. Um, we had these people talk to us at the Google. Event. One of the people was involved in this. No, so one of those Kickstarter more. projects. Uh, you remember there were the two people that were giving them guidance. Yes. Uh, it was one of the projects that was doing. Okay. This. And basically, it's a way of trying to get a sort of a sharing video sharing and an audio sharing application uh, into South African hands. It runs across. They're okay, going over a lot of your smartphones and your um, not. So it will run on the the Symbian. It will run on the Android, the BlackBerry, and the iPhone. Mm-hmm. And a lot of it is to try and get sharing where the guys can also then charge for some of this stuff. And they're talking about a lot in a lot of the challenges when the really big thing is poetry um, and how this is a huge thing. You know, not being far, I have no idea about this. And that this is part of this they're trying to get out there and then get all these things sharing. I think they do have some ties in with Google at some point that this can run on YouTube, but don't, I'm not 100% sure. I know I did look. The app was available a while ago, and I tried, and then uh, it, the, the rest of the back ends weren't there yet. Um, so between this weekend when I've caught up with everything else, if to do, I'm going to log in and look at this again. Okay. But it's a very interesting, and I, at some point, I'm sure would like to get the person in to come talk to us. That would be great. I mean, it's I had very, a quick look. It was very rough. Uh, but, yeah, it, it looks very interesting. And it gives you 50% revenue split yeah. for your content, where Amazon does 70% to See, you and 30% to them. This is different. Remember, bandwidth in this country is expensive. Mm, true. So this is also for cell phones and getting it there. So there are – what works overseas mm. won't always work, oh, unfortunately. How, how will they police – I b- make a video – so I make a short movie, but I use a proprietary song as the back end. How will they police that? I'm getting um, money for someone might else's content. To the Google back ends with the copyright management and stuff like that yeah. for that. Is I know that they were talking to They're getting Google. money from Google, so I'm sure yeah. Google is probably helping. Okay. Because that's the big big thing, hey? Make sure you're not using someone else's IP. Oh, Samra. Ooh, they're a lovely company. Anyway, let me try one of these setups again. So, so you've been feeling, uh, you know, with all these IMs and everything. I, you're feeling a bit comfortable, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, but oh, it's a now. soft G. Please pronounce it for me. I have no <laughs> clue. But it's a pity that our right, the writer isn't here tonight because why do you make such a boo about something that's not launched yet? I mean, going ahead and telling us about this website. You go to the website Sorry, let's coming first quarter okay. 2012. Jan, what, what are we talking about? So Gatvol. Gat, G- it's G-A-T-F-O-L. L. With, a, with a soft G. Gatvol then. It's Gat. It's Gatvol. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Gatvol. Um, what the heck? Look, it's they a, say it's, it's going to be a search engine to actually fill the gap between what you're looking for and Google. Okay. Here's a tip for everyone. Chat applications, it's been done. Search, Search it's been, been done. done. No, no, Social media, been done. Look, where this is, this is supposed to follow more natural language searching, which okay. there's a lot of work in it. And no, we're not there yet with natural language search. Natural language search. There was a search engine that actually did that there a while ago. There were a couple, back. but they're working in that field. and they're Wolfgang. Currently no, no, isn't that the else. mathematics that's thing? Mathematics and Wolfram. Stats. Damn, Wolfram I'm trying. Alpha. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I know you guys have told me. Oh, somebody says it's gutful. Gutful. 
Ah, uh, okay. Gut. That makes sense. Gutful. Okay, that makes sense. Lexus I just don't know. I mean, you can't test it. You can't do anything. Is it? Are they using uh, my broadband to test the waters? I don't know. It's just like such a letdown. Tell us about this new exciting. But, but look, if you, I, I thought it was quite interesting what they're doing. And basically, it's doing a lot of natural. They're trying to build natural language processing things, mm-hmm. so that you can say, and it's it's for to do more Siri type things, where you can go, uh, Aircon, I'm feeling a bit hot now. And it knows that that means turn the aircon down. No. Um, and it's it's up. It's temperature down. Temperature down. Air fan up. up. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, sorry. Whatever. Yeah, it just okay. solves the problem. It doesn't actually go. Sorry, uh, please tell me what I must do. It actually tries to understand what 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 the problem is and then and solves solve it. it. And that's what they're doing about. It. And they're still busy processing and doing it. Why they spoke about this without any products out? It's just, that was such a letdown. It sounded so interesting, but it's, I mean, will y'all think about it in two weeks to go back and go check if the site's up? Hmm. Give me the story when the site is running. It's, is it the COSA or com domain? Uh, Jumps to .com. No, uh, letdown. Coming first quarter 2012. I mean, like, Gat- in any case. Gatful exists to make frustrate. Take the frustration. And then, Ecosa versus Telcom again. Here we go. Again. ADSL IPC price reduction. Yeah, but the problem with this is not Ecosa versus Telcom. This has got to do with it and all the timelines and all the rest of it that, you know, we were going to definitely have stuff by last year. And it was like, oh, no, 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 but by first quarter this year because things happen. It's now been relaxed further. So there's no, it, there's no definite end to when this will actually, anything will happen um, to the point where the, the minister said, um, we haven't even started the process yet. It's like, the, what, what were the, those Ecosi hearings last year? But no, no, they were the process. Paperwork so and documentation. No, no. And anyway, I'm not going to speak about this because it's just going to make me upset. It's just like, I will not tell you which CEO of which ISP told me straightforward off the cuff that until this gets solved, they cannot grow their business. Um, 89 billion rand broadband question. Um, basically, this is talking about the Department of Communication who said that we will have broadband for everybody in the country by, what's it, 2017 or something? I can't remember the exact date. Again, uh, uh, they, they sat down and did the maths on, on what this would actually cost us. And most 2020. Co- 2020. Anyway. Deliver 100% broadband penetration in South Africa by 2020. Well, the guys in a couple of the Based bigger, on the current technology. We yeah. don't know what 6, 6G is going to do for us next year. <laughs> sorry, where are we now? 5G. LTE. Okay, but no, that's 4G. That's 4G. Okay, sorry. 5G is Technically, be. nothing we have now. Technically, nothing we have is 4G. 4G is something like 100 something megabits per second. No, wait, 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 wait. 4G wasn't LTE. 4G was that middle technology that no, everybody... No. There is no 4G. I know. That's a slang. The street and everybody turned around and said you can't call it 4G. Yeah, that was for great service. Yeah, but that was also... <laughs> oh, yes. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I okay. want a question. Now they know how much it will cost, what will be the return on this investment? Have they done this exercise? Yeah, well, look, put this way. Putting broadband infrastructure into mm. countries has a return on investment. Okay, it's been then proven. why not bite the bullet and say, let's spend this and get it done? No, look, this is... Do you think we've got 60 billion? Will, will cost? If it's worth the investment, uh, get it from somewhere. They can get money for other stuff. Why the, not this? The DOC is disagreeing with how much it will cost. Mm. But you must remember with all this, there's no plan in how they're going to do it yet. Oh, uh, yeah, true. So there's no exact method. They've just decided they will do it. And at some point, they will come up with a plan and we'll have it by 2050. Mm. Anyway, sorry. 2020. I said correctly. I mean, it's like... How, it's how eight did years. Uh, unbundling... What's it? Local loop unbundling. That was... We're going to have definite yeah. done by last year sometime. Anyway. And it's, it's all that's going to happen, happen is we're going to find new ways to not use copper. Well, look, there is that super Wi-Fi stuff that's coming up. They're looking in the white space areas, which can, you know, one antenna can cover several kilometers. Yeah, so because you're in a much lower frequency than yes. what we're doing on Wi-Fi networks. So, um, so if you your reach a and your those, penetration into buildings are a lot better. Yes. So, but that also is sitting, hoping that ICASA can get the people out of those spaces. Because a lot of that, there is white spaces, but a lot of that is now big data being held back by DTT deployment. Yes. But having said that, we do know some other people are testing it and working with it. Yes, 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 there are some pilots going on and so on, but they're very localized because you can only 
the white space only exists in one area yes. because in the next area that white space is used by a TV channel. Yeah. So yeah, we need to get the DTT rolled out so that we can get the white spaces or the spaces in between channels open up countrywide. Because that's one of your biggest advantages of DTT is you use the same frequencies What's throughout DTT the country. By way? Sorry, just digital uh, terrestrial television. Sorry, yeah. you had me for a moment. Sorry, yeah. It's it's the digital dividend. Why we keep on coming back to this MTN story? Seventy-five meg smartphone service. I mean, do you know MTN came with the smartphone for? I, I I don't know. You haven't spoken about this. I haven't spoken. We about spoke this. about it last week while you were calibrating okay. going through the country I, about I, I these wonderful new deals that will take on the BB services. You can get a smartphone for a fixed rate a month and seventy-five yeah. megs of data. Yeah. It's a it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's not even worth commenting. And then it's not a it's a entry level smartphone. It's not a yes. it's it's a yes. Right. If you want to anyway. take on BBM or do something intelligent. BBS, sorry, that's BBS. If you want to take on BBS, then this is not the way to do it. Now, but now the other thing is BBS has been successful because it was something developed by RIM and making it a service available to the networks. So it's not what, that not, not maybe what we're lacking is something like Google going, okay, we'll give you a caching server, Mr. Uh, service Provider, put it down on your side, because that's all no, the BBS no, is. No, no, BBS does a whole bunch of other things. So first of all, it also does compression, like very good compression. Everything runs through a BBS server. Yes, but in that, they basically, for most websites, they're able to shrink the bandwidth for their website to one-tenth of the original yeah. amount. That's now, impressive. To do that, they also Squid, lower... lower Squid. Squid Crow. No. It is a lot more involved. Squid in compression. It. Squid compression. Your standard HTTP compression algorithms. You're talking about GZIP compression? Mm, no. You can do packet comp uh, uh, HTML content compression. Or they're doing it a different layer. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. No, a different layer. So you to talk about... But there's some other things you can use called mod deflate and it's standard. But don't worry. That yeah, works yeah. very well for text. Well, this thing did also on top of that, it also changed the graphic formats, dropped the graphic quality. Okay. Which everything there, if you okay. think of a, of a screen for your uh, BlackBerry, it Makes was really sense. small. So don't send a, a big image to me because I can't view it in any You case. can't view it. So they did yeah. a whole bunch of other things. Now, if you did that to me on my smartphone, now I can actually see because the new smartphone screens are very good. I Fair. wouldn't complain. But why not then let my phone t because my phone is telling your bro your server what's what I am what yeah. size I can view so actually send me through a gateway server and then present the graphic in the optimal size for my phone if I then want to pay additional data to get the bigger version then so be it it's, it's a bit more complicated you know I mean there are it's other just, things in there it's also the mail um, there's actually and, and the worst thing is your, your whole compression of HTTP most modern servers that you people out there walking around with BB or with Blackberries, yeah, don't care about that. They just know about the fact that it doesn't matter how many people or how many sites I visit on my phone, I'm paying one rate. Yeah. I don't care the, about okay. the rest. unlimited internet but unless you take the other thing you must remember a lot of the things that use your, your, your bandwidth on your phone, yeah, are things that the BBM guys aren't even doing. So you've got okay, all fair, these yeah. apps that you now installed, and it's all those things that are actually yeah. using more of your bandwidth. So it's the fact that you can browse quicker, so you now go I to I mean, ask sites. any BlackBerry user, why have you got it? No, it's free internet. Yes. Yeah. From your device, nothing else. Yeah. So in any case. But and I can message. chat to everyone, and it doesn't cost me anything extra. I'm sorry. I'm just saying there are ways to offer the same on a smart, proper smartphone, not a BlackBerry, a proper smartphone platform. There's ways to actually offer those services at a fixed rate. Yeah, yeah because be the, the, the Android, uh, the Opera browser already does that proxy yeah. Look, compression I, I must stuff. Say one of the things with MTN was that you get the Opera mini browser with it. Yeah, well, what have been done with some of these compression things. But remember, that's only for browsing. Mm. So it doesn't. Yeah. Look, the correct way you want to do is yes, VPN it in, do compression across that VPN. Um, put a. Talk to Google, put their servers down at your place, make sure the traffic, you, you, as much as you can, stays on the same network. Yeah, but this is. And the rest of the breakout traffic just fall through. There's there more go. than that. A lot of the traffic is not Google's traffic that's adding to your phone. Yeah. I'm saying. And then anything breaking yeah. out of Google or at to having Android talking to the Google services, have that just filtered in a different way. And speaking, yeah. Fair usage. Because, I mean, the guys that's now um, torrenting on, on BlackBerry. Mm. 
How would be, they... There must be a way to stop it. Um, there's ways. I can imagine. I've I would never actually go through the effort, but yeah. yeah. I mean, geez. <laughs> you must be desperate. <laughs> All right. And, and speaking of phones and Google, Google acquisition of Motorola has been approved by the, U- by the European Union. Yes, and they're, wait, they're waiting for the U.S. approval. Yes. So that hasn't come through yet. Well, it says here, U.S. and European regulators have approved Google Inc.'s 12.5 billion purchase of Motorola Mobility Holdings, Inc. So it's done? Yes, they've approved it. Brilliant. Did you guys notice that the Google, you can now search patents as well? Yes, well, that's been out for a while, yeah. But, but can you search for that? I watched it. I attend the show so you guys can actually tell me about these new things. But it came out about three, four years ago. Yeah. You guys don't tell me about these things. You know, it's been there forever. I mean, Wolfgang, what? Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha. I mean, like, come on. Tell me these things. I, I must have never used it, though, because... Just, just do a quick search for Motorola and see what you get back. Google patents, okay? Let's just, see. just for the joke of it. A lot yeah, of well, they've search. got the largest patent portfolio of any mobile handset maker. Cool. Yes. Now, are they, are they going to help the, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Are they going to use those patents to help some of these ongoing cases with the Apple? Well, they already are, aren't they? I think Motorola took on Apple in, in one of these suits or something. Hold on, let's Google for it since ah. we're busy with Google. Coming in 2012, Firefox for Windows 8 Met. What? Oh, yes. Metro interface and Firefox has got, yeah. So you what? They're going to have a button. Yeah. You know what? You what click on it and it opens it, up. It's more than that. The Metro interface most replaces now your, your start bar of classic Windows. Okay. What's this Metro? Okay. So you open up and then? You log in and you've got a full screen what? tile okay. of all your apps. Right. Have you seen an iP- Apple I- iPad? No, it's not like that. It's, it's similar. It's, it's to get that touch interface. Yeah. But I don't have a touch okay. on my But there's desktop. two things that the Metro interface does. It's one, it gives you the button for your app, the nice colored looking, nice finger friendly button. Plus the app actually runs in a new full screen mode. I'll demo it to you later. Okay. Chrome 10 on, on Windows 8 Preview has got a Metro interface and a classic interface. So if you browse Chrome 10 from your Metro interface, but the, the app actually looks different. It launches full screen. It and, and it looks like a mobile browser. But like, I mean, I've got a desktop. Exactly. I've got a notebook. I've got a mouse. So they want me to stop using the mouse and use my finger. Well, I mean, like, they want... Uh, I, I, I actually see my there. users at the office sitting there going onto the LCDs. Smack. Here we go. Let's yeah. replace some LCDs. Now, they're trying, they're trying to, to straddle the river here. They want to use the same interface on... on all the platforms. On all the platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they believe they can do it l- with with this I hope um, because they because there's an ec- there's a classic interface like included. This. Have you seen um, the interface for the new app, the Apple interface? They're trying to do something similar. Yeah, on the desktop. Yeah, the you know, that's going to drive me now to actually just Google. Can we have a desktop OS, please? Yeah, it's it's called Chrome OS. Chrome OS. <laughs> Come on, well, well, three out of three. Wait, wait, wait! I've got a better suggestion. I have an Ubuntu CD for you. Yes. <laughs> with, with that what interface? Unity. Oh, yeah, don't, don't no, install no. Unity. Just in, uh, install I it and then take Unity, Unity off and put something else. I, I like so Unity. XFPC <laughs> on top of it. No. But, but Unity is not bad. Windows? What? Change the change interface. interface. Yes, you can. You've got a classic desktop. You can you change it to a different interface? Yes. No, no. You've got the wind. Well, you could probably install a skin pack or something that looks different or a different shell. You can run KDE on it. Yeah, there's a couple of other options. You can actually compile it. But you've got to jump through hoops. So it's fine. Let's, let's leave yeah. it there. Okay, leave it there. I might just end up taking your, you up on that if, if they keep on going down this track yeah. with Windows 8. But, okay, if, if what is the time scale now for this Windows 8? I mean, is that uh, third or fourth quarter this year? Beta or final? Beta is coming out 29 February. Gonna, are they going to do it public beta? Probably like I've already Windows got 7. the developer preview publicly. Yeah. Beta is going to be public as well. Developer it wasn't really public, but you could get your hands onto it very no, no, easily. It's on their website. Serious? For free download. I've got the ISO. I can give it to you if you want it. That's interesting. So we yeah. can give it a bash and see what yeah. happens. I hope there's underlying improvements. There are. Um, the classic ah, desktop looks a sorry. lot. Yeah. 32 bit version? Yes. So it's still going to do 32 and 64. Yes. 32 you and 64. The leap, from, the leap from Windows XP, because we don't talk about the one in between, to Windows 7 was very clear. What, when, when yeah. Windows Millennium? No, no, no. No, Vista. XP. We don't talk about Windows Millennium either. No, but that yeah. was 98. 
You see, from Rantai to XP, that was a wonderful leap. There was nothing yeah. in between. Yes. And then we had XP to Windows 7. I mean, there was nothing in between. Yeah. It was just a wonderful leap. Yeah. I don't see how they're going to actually succeed. In There's a large school of thought that says Windows 8 is going to can like EME and Vista is. Because its, it's timing is off. Service Pack 1 for Windows 7 came out last year. Mm. Windows 8 is coming out now, end of this year, say, say, say September. But Service Pack 1 for that is not going to come out until 2013 if the timelines are anything to go by. So people are going to stick with Windows 7 enterprises. There's no need to change. There's no yes. compelling Nothing. reason to move. Never mind the service there packs. There's no re you know, it's not that it makes your PC faster. No, it doesn't. I mean, the biggest, the biggest jump on, on, on my personal hardware was from XP to, to Windows 7 was 64-bit. Mm. I mean, you wanted to go to 64-bit. I have a reason why some people might actually migrate across. And the reason is the apps that you can write for that, what's the interface called? Uh, Metro. Metro. And um, they're going to write it that you can work on your phone. So you yeah, buy an app for your phone. Now, that app must be will also run on your Metro interface on your Windows but 8. The, but the underlying code is very different between the two platforms. No, no, not the Metro part of it. No, not the Metro part, but so the, the interface is the same. Yeah, the interface is the same. Code. If you can write it for the Metro, it okay, but where converts am I? across the Windows 8. No, phone. Windows 8 phone is going to use a silver just, just light. I know you're going to get some badges at the, yeah. what, what was that thing we spoke about last week, about the badges at the, the Windows Development Forum. You, oh, may, yeah. you know, you know oh, really? those achievements. Um, their development platform is most, it's the same for every, everything. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, you'll probably end up that you can actually port your code. Oh, just port, okay. I was thinking using the same if you, code. If you go for the enterprise uh, development um, suite, which was that yeah. nice 23,000 yeah. Rand or something. Quentin, I've just said something else to confirm. Yeah. Silverlight's being discontinued. Yes, I heard that. Silverlight's okay. been discontinued. Is it then Windows Phone 7 that uses Silverlight under its. I don't know which one it was. Yeah. Look, the, 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 the saying is that Metro interface, if you run an app for that with that code, mm. it's very easy. Oh, it's XML. Compiler to run on the way. Wait, wait, yeah. Silverlight. Wasn't that to try and compete with Flash? And Flash is still going strong. And and I think that big Apple said, no, we're not putting Flash on our devices. <laughs> Guess what? They're still not putting it on their devices. Yeah, and, and yeah. how's that going for them? Well, <laughs> any case. The only reason why you still need Flash, the only reason is video streaming. And Windows have actually, uh, Apple, sorry, have actually sold that in their devices. Okay. Trust me, you can't stream to. Android or any of the others without Flash. Uh, doesn't Android do HTML5 streaming? HTML5 streaming Video. actually does not exist. There's no, really? there's no live, yeah, send, oh, live, no live streaming. video streaming. I will send you the phone. article. Oh, okay. It was a very interesting I, I article. I've looked very hard and long. No, that's uh, Flow Player actually wrote a very nice um, oh, okay. article about yeah, the yeah. state of HTML5 uh, video and audio and yeah. streaming for video and audio. It's actually a joke if you go and Is read the it article. Yeah, it's very bad. It's oh, very bad. fantastic. Welcome back, Flash. How <laughs> has we missed you? <laughs> but in any case. Anyway, now, what's it? Welcome to our hockey playing overlord robots. Yeah. What? <laughs> Only in Canada. Somebody went and built a uh, scientist create hockey playing robot in Canada. Of okay. course. Okay. Uh, I don't know that much about this article. It's just cool. Okay. It's a playing robot. against themselves, playing against other robots. How do you play against yourself? Well, robot, two teams of robots. Two teams of robots playing hockey. No, no, no. That, that's answering Tim's question. How do you play against yourself? The robots play amongst themselves. Yeah, true. No, no. But uh, one robot playing, you yeah. need to play against. That's what I'm asking. Is this, uh, is this robot actually just running around, hook, uh, knocking a ball around? The robot is capable of maneuvering around ice and shooting pucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Position. Ice hockey? Yes. yes. Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to take a hit from this bad boy. Okay, all right. Oh, but it's not that big, hey? It's tiny. Have a look. It's very yes. small. Oh, sorry. Guy. That's a laptop next to didn't it. didn't show you what I was showing everybody else. Oh, very nice. Very nice. There we go. Yeah. Named after Canadian female hockey star Jennifer Butterill. I hope I got that right. Sorry, yeah. say that again. Jennifer Butterill. <laughs> it would have been very funny if it was our African surname in Canada. <laughs> that would have been so, so cool. But in any yeah. case, spray on antennas. You were very excited about this, Tim. What is this about? I know about? nothing about this. I oh, well, that's this, lovely. Uh, it got yeah. added literally before we started the show. So... Uh, in Gadget ran a story uh, the 11th that so speaks about spray on tennis reveals best thing to come in a can since. No. 
easy cheese. Sorry, what? the URL has got an abbreviation, and I just couldn't figure out what the abbreviation was. But in any case, like yeah, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. antennas, but I'm not sure how this would work. Because antennas need to be fairly well tuned for different frequencies, and well, it's all about the length. Um, yeah, everybody okay, thinks antenna is that length for no apparent reason, but your length of your antenna is directly associated with a specific <coughs> frequency. Sorry. The waveform of your frequency. Yeah. So you work, you'll actually elements. see that the um, length of the antenna has got a formula against the frequency. Yes. Now, so what they could do is you can you can make particles to crystallize at a certain crystal length. Couldn't it be done like that? You you got well, your liquid, you spray it on, and then it, when it hardens, it forms crystals for a certain frequency. Okay, okay but. How are you linking those up? No, no, no. That's that's a different problem altogether. I'm just thinking of getting them it's, to, it's to ex uh, intercept the frequency. Yeah. Look, we, we've all seen how hard they are to design good antennas no. from Apple. So to me, like one of those... They, Sorry, they, from who? Who got it wrong? Just Apple. hold it right. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just hold it right. Yeah, I'm, um, thinking. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm just thinking, like this one, they, they show in the build that you, you spray... Spray a tree. On, no, the whole building. Now, at that point, if you spray the whole building, you've actually made a Faraday cage. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. So, great. We can do this to stop people using their phones inside cinemas. Oh, a spray on anti antenna. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, look, I need to read this further to understand actually what You can go spraying. to Builder's Warehouse and you can actually go buy magnetic spray. Okay, what it is okay. is, and, I, and I've tried it, you, it's a can of spray, spray, which, uh, spray paint. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. That you can actually spray against the wall and it becomes a magnetic and you can use magnets on it. Okay, but and is it magnetic, magnetic or is it metallic? Is it... Uh, well, what, what, what will... Sorry. Uh, is it ma magnetic in the sense that magnets stick to it or is it magnetic in that it's got its own magnetic field? No, the magnet sticks to it. Okay. So it's, me it's metal. It's okay. a metal spray that you All can right. spray against the wall and you can... Stick. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, I can see the same thing. You can spray that against something and then run a little wire antenna and it's going to probably be an antenna but yeah, well, uh, yeah. But, but for certain applications it's not going to work it's I mean and then they've got this screen uh, this underwater so what are you going to spray underwater it doesn't make sense do, do yeah, radio it's waves a, even it's propagate a, radio waves do they even penetrate water no not very well no. well, well you've got a very low frequency yeah. depending on the frequency yeah yeah, I mean, you've got to be very, very, very well. low. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I know the, 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 the submarines, they've got this antenna that they drag in the water behind them because the frequency well, is so low. Fact, what yes. they do is they, um, so the waveform is so they, long. They actually yeah. let it go up. So they, they put a like, little back mm? so it yeah. goes up to pick up. No, both. I mean, yeah. I go send up to speak to the satellites because there's no other way mm. to speak to it. But for communication underwater, and, they and just they run at very low frequency. And they that's where they, they, they've got, it looks like a telex machine that they send me. That is what that low antenna, and they can't, the, I mean, the bandwidth on that is so ridiculously low. Exactly. Exactly. But yes, spray on antenna. And then uh, we're going to end off with the kicker. Oh, oh yeah. Tim was excited Tim about this. This is awesome. What is it? Tell us about it. It is the OMG AR-15 <laughs> Unicorn <laughs> Zombie what Gun. What the hell? <laughs> My goodness. And it's got, there's Good no way on it. That you can appreciate wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's, uh, I'm trying to re... There's no way to appreciate this on the audio stream. You're going to have to go yeah. look. You've got to go look. So let's just read Inspired it again slowly. Inspired the recent trend towards rifle-mounted chainsaws. We at Guns and Gardens want to give the idea a try our way. First, we decided to keep the budget low, so we used an OMG AR-15 as the base rifle. Second, we wanted to design an attachment that was easy to make with limited tools. And third, we wanted the ability to remove the chainsaw and use it without the rifle. And lastly, it had to appeal to girls. Oh, You've got to go and check this out. It it's good. But my, my little ponies all over the blade oh, of a chainsaw. Four chain would have a field day with this. I mean, get some blood onto it and let's see what it looks like then. Amazing. It's Amazing. And it's a working chainsaw. <laughs> a working, a button, working, working as in the blade rotates or working yeah. as in you can go cut oh, down a tree? You can cut things with it. Wow. Uh, they did say something about they've uh, inverted or something, but it's pretty cool. And the gun works. There's a video over there actually where they shoot. Okay. Real bullets or paintball bullets? Real bullets. Wow. And they say it costs hundred dollars, excluding the the, the 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 gun, which they're going to put stars and unicorns on. What a waste! What? 
What a waste. What okay, is becoming of our planet? I don't, I don't want to live here anymore. This no, is just know. wrong. That was just cool. Don't, don't you want to get one, one of your uh, goals, one of these? Um, no. No, they at least need to be able to hide. I mean, yeah. the whole thing about zombie apocalypse is not standing out like a sore, sore thumb. This Hopefully thing. zombies are colorblind. And oh, wait. No, this is going to be like glares. This is for zombies in New York. They don't go for you if you're fabulous. <laughs> in any case. Thank you very much, guys. It was yeah. great well, having you here. Quentin, where can yeah. people can find you? you? Uh, just on Twitter, Quentin Zero. There we go. Is that all you where you are? No, I'm everywhere, everywhere else, but start there and find Start there and yeah. search from there. Talk to me and I'll give you all the rest. Okay, we'll do that. And thank you, Tim, thank for you. mixing for us tonight. Did you have fun there? I did. <laughs> you haven't done that for a while. Wild oh, talking. I'll tell you something just now. <laughs> Wild talking. I Where forgot the people find you? Yeah. At uh, Alpha <laughs> for TV. three nights a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And I, this is Johan L saying have a good evening. Good night, Johan. Goodbye. Be safe. Shoot zombies. <laughs>